Hey what's up YouTube this is Manish from Tech Portal and in this video I'm going to show you how you can restore application with data after installing any new custom ROM. So you have to download this file the titanium backup pro version I have provided the links in the description it requires root access so make sure you have a rooted device and our TWRP recovery like CWM or any other recovery installed. So here it is installed. Now what you have to do is now let me first show you that I am currently running a5 2016 ROM and now I am going to flash this as a custom ROM and I am going to show you how you can restore application plus data by selecting some apps and creating backup of this. So now go to menu and click on this batch actions sorry. Now click on this batch actions here you can see that backups so first click on backup user data just select the apps which you want to restore in your new custom ROM with the application and data like I want to select some apps it will be easily restored with your data like your gaming progress any conversations any accounts you have saved you want to restore it will save time so here I have selected some of the apps now just click on this tick button and it will take some time around 5 to 10 minutes or depending on the apps you have selected so I am just fast forwarding the video so here it is all almost completed so here the backup is created now we will gonna create a flashable zip with the name update.zip so just slide down and go to here the recovery mode now click on this run and it will automatically detect your backup files so now just click on this tick button you can rename it easily just select the as which you want to create just click on this tick button and it will create a flashable zip with the name update.zip in your internal memory card you can easily find it so now the update.zip file has been created so now I am going to boot into recovery mode to flash a new custom ROM. So here let me first show you that the updates are zip here you can see you have to just select it and flash it. So now I am just fast forwarding the video by installing a new custom ROM. So here the install, I have installed the custom ROM here you can see, let me show you, so here you can see the, the A5 2016 for Samsung Galaxy J7, if you are using Samsung Galaxy J7 I have provided the links for this new update of A5 ROM. So now you have to root your device, so first install the super SU, I have pro provided the file in the description, it is recommended to use titanium, now again install the titanium backup pro from the links given below because to restore applications with data you have to have this at titanium backup in your device after installing a custom row so now just open it and grant super SU permissions so So now just go back, here you can see the update.z file, now again boot into your recovery mode, I am having TWRP recovery. So now go to install and search for the file where you have stored it, I have my file here in my internal SG update.zip, just swipe to confirm flash. Here you can see that the files which we have selected are UC browser, CPU Z 
and some of the other applications here you can see with the data and now it will automatically reboot in 5 seconds it can take up to 5 to 10 minutes depending on the apps you have selected as I have selected only 7 to 8 apps so it will not take more than 1 to 2 minutes to complete the boot so I am just fast forwarding the video so here you can see that my launcher has automatically installed I am currently using pixel launcher so here now it is restoring my apps here you can see that the notification restoring data it will automatically start but make sure that you have super su and titanium backup pro installed after installing a custom room so here you can see that my cpu z es file explorer my retrica studio uc browser wps office automatically installed let me first open this wps and it will not show any type of here you can see that whenever i am opening any app it will restore with the data too so this is the best way with which you can save your time after installing a custom room and you don't have to waste time by downloading an app and again s s do its settings and it is very time consuming so that's all with this video i hope this video will work for you and if it is working for you a like will be appreciated and for more videos like this you can subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the red button down below and as always i see you in the next video thank you Oh, 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 oh,